To get a longitudinal view of the kidney, place the probe in the flank region with the probe marker pointing towards the patient's head. When identified, the probe should be fanned in order to see the whole way through the kidney. The probe can then be rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise to see the kidney in a transverse view. Again, the probe should be fanned to see the whole way through the kidney. Here, the kidney is seen in a longitudinal view. The renal pyramids are seen as anechoic areas within the renal medulla, and the renal sinus, which contains the calyces and blood vessels, appears hyperechoic due to the presence of fat. The kidney can be seen to move during respiration. The probe should be fanned in order to see the entire way through the kidney. Here, the kidney is shown in the transverse view. The probe is fanned to visualise the entire way through the kidney. In this video, the renal pelvis can be seen. The calyces, seen as dark anechoic structures within the hyperechoic renal sinus, are dilated. This represents hydronephrosis. To view the bladder, the probe is placed over the suprapubic region with the probe marker towards the patient's right side. The probe is fanned to see the whole way through the bladder. The probe is then rotated 90 degrees so that the marker is pointing towards the patient's head and again the probe is fanned to see the entire bladder. Here we see through the entire bladder in the transverse view. The size can be determined by either an eyeball assessment or by performing calculations. To calculate the bladder volume, depth and width measurements can be taken in this view. In the longitudinal view, a further height measurement can be taken to combine with the depth and width measurements in order to calculate the bladder volume. Here, the colour Doppler is placed where the ureters connect to the bladder. When the VUJ contracts, forcing urine into the bladder, it is shown as a burst of colour on screen. These ureteric jets usually only occur up to twice a minute in healthy people, and their absence can suggest complete obstruction of a ureter.